Howdy guys, it's Luke at Geek Gaming Scenics and in this video, I think we've been using bases all wrong. I'll catch you after this. So guys, yes, when I got into this hobby, I started watching, you know, Games Workshop videos on how to paint and everything else. And you get into a habit of sticking the model to the base first. And then you put your base materials on and everything else. I never saw a problem with this. Um, it was always awkward to base the model I found, like painting around the feet, trying to keep it neat. Even if I were using PVA, sand, or basing materials in general, it was always a bit of a pig. And what I never liked the look of was the model was always stood in the basing material. It, it got to me a little bit. Now, what changed that is when I started playing Kings of War and everything was multi-based, so if I were painting 20 models to stick them on a base, I'd paint the models off a base, obviously. So I wouldn't stick them all down and then paint them and then do the basing because that would be really hard work. And then I started painting single models like that and I really appreciated it. Now, a lot of models that I paint are normally fantasy. The occasional old sci-fi model. And I've started painting a couple of 40k models for future videos and they've come on plastic slotters which is nice to see because I'm, I'm used to seeing metal models with slotters and it never occurred to me that I've probably been using slotters all wrong if there is a video on this already let me know in the comments below I'm not taking claim to this I just feel that it's something I've never picked up on in the six years I've been in the hobby let me know if you think the same after seeing this it's like such a simple idea but if you get the slotter and you don't put it all the way in, you leave a couple of mil above. That means when you come to put your basing material on, your model stood on the basing material and you've got the added stability of it being a slotter. The best thing about slotter bases is the fact you get a far stronger contact. It's far better than pinning. I like slotter bases. I just didn't like the fact I had to stick them down. I've always stuck them down wrong. When you're using your slotter base like this, Best thing to do, glue it in a couple of mil above. Now when you're getting your glue or your texture paste or whatever you decide to use on this, make sure you put a little bit more around the middle and that'll hide the lip. It'll also add a little bit of natural landform as well because bases tend to look a little bit flat. So if you do build it up, you get some nice graduation in your landform. Using the fast dry basing glue and the base ready from my range, just simply paint that on, get it under the feet, be as neat as you can, dip it in, pull it out, brush the sides off and it looks pretty well. I'll show you on a couple of other bases how that looks as well and if you are interested in buying any of these check all the links below. There's also loads of different shops all around the world so if you have got any in your local area you can support them as well. Just check the links and it'll take you to a page on a site where you can see where to buy them from local to you. I really like how this works. I'm gonna start doing this far more often especially on the gaming pieces. I've got some Lord of the Ring models, I've got some Goblin Town Goblins to do and they're all on slotters and I'm going to do them exactly this way and I'm going to do it that way just so the, the better gaming pieces are going to be a lot stronger. I know it's a very simple video guys but it's just something that I'm like why is, I don't I see anybody doing this? It's crazy. Um, it makes a big difference to the longevity of the model plus it just looks a little bit nicer. It's only slight, it's not that much of a difference but it does make a little difference, which is always, the slight improvements do add up if you put them all over the place. What do you think, guys? Pop in the comments below. If you've liked it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you really do want to support me, guys, check out my shop or all the shops that buy our products and sell them worldwide. Um, buying that product really does support me and helps me do videos for the channel. We have got a sale on till the uh, 10th of this month, uh, and it's, it's available till 11, uh, 11.59, uh, UK time okay so get all your orders in before then you get 15% off when you spend 50 pounds and uh, free shipping UK as well so thank you for watching thanks for tuning in and I'll see you later this week for another video banging them out this month I'll catch you in a bit love 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 <laughs>